This is only empties that are not included in any of the projects that I currently have going. So I have a few empties already from my Skinners In project, but they are not included in this particular lot of empties. This is other bathroom and makeup nail related empties. So just because it makes it less confusing for me and then when I finish off a project then I go and I put all of those in and empties then. So the empties at the end of the year are going to be massive. But <laughs> uh, month to month it will just be extra stuff that isn't in a project that gets used up. So um, I also haven't done values on any of this. I have written it in my little book so I can go back and do it later. But I haven't done any values on that. It's something that I will look at at the end of the year. Um, not sort of keeping a running tally at this point. I may change my mind in a couple of months and go back and fix it. At the moment, that is not what I'm doing. So, let's get into this. The first two things I have, these are both Audi brand. There's actually quite a lot of Audi brand and stuff in here, so just be aware of that. Uh, Nature's Essence Frusion Color Lock for color treated hair, shampoo and conditioner. Um, I probably went through two shampoos to one condition. I uh, know two conditioners to one shampoo. Like I have another conditioner in the shower, which is almost finished, because um, my hair is actually quite coarse and thick and just soaks up moisture. Um, so I use quite a bit of conditioner. Uh, yeah, I actually quite like these. These are really good value for money. They're less than four dollars um, for four hundred ml. So yeah, um, I would buy them again. I have a different shampoo in my shower at the moment because it was on sale. I think it's Tresemme or something. Or it might even be Pantene. It was on sale. Um, yeah, so, but I would buy these again. Next from Audi, I have from the Lacura Essentials, the Renew Cleansing Wipes. These are the ones for 40 is the new 30. That's supposed to be anti-aging with Q10. They were fine. They're not my favorite they're not terrible i would probably buy them again though because they're a good price most of the stuff from audis is a good price um, and these are a 30 pack and most of these only ever come with 25 so these last a little bit longer um, uh, but yeah i generally use these to take off the worst of my makeup um, if i'm feeling lazy and i'm not going to go and have a shower and wash my face um, even if I am going to have a shower, I'll often use this to take off the worst of the face makeup. Um, I generally use a uh, eye makeup remover for eye makeup, though. So, yeah, I don't know whether these take off eye makeup because I didn't use them on my eyes. Another one from Audi is the Lacura Essentials Makeup Rounds. These ones actually have aloe vera in them. I haven't actually noticed this, 80 pack, I buy these a lot because they're, they come in a 2 pack and they're low cost and they do what they need to do, so yeah I would buy them again. And the last thing that is an Audi thing is this Refine Serum which came out of the um, advent calendar from the Christmas before last. Um, the reason this is not in my skin is in empties is because I finished this up before I decided to do the skin is in. So that's the only reason this one's in here. Uh, yeah, so it, it's fine though. I don't know if they do anything. My skin seems to appreciate that I make the effort, but I don't know if they do anything. <laughs> Next we have another lot of makeup rounds. These ones are the... Um, Health Beauty is the brand. I'm not even sure where I got them from. That is not around. That is a little piece of cardboard that they stick in the bottom. I'm not sure where I got these from. Um, I think I might have got them from Dezo, actually. Now that I think about it. Which means they're a decent price. Not the cheapest, though. Because I'm pretty sure the ones from Audi's are less. I think they're like $1.99. And these would be like $2.80. Because almost everything in Dezo is $2.80. But, you know, if they come in a multi-pack, I probably would buy them again. 
Maybe that's why I have that one. I don't know. Um, also from Dezu is this BB face mask. Um, trying to do more face masks. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this one. I have a couple more of these to actually use, so that might help me decide. Um, I think I left it on a little bit long because it I got a little tiny bit of like irritation just in this part of my face. Nowhere else. Just, just through here. But I've been having some problem with the skin here being like super dry and crusty. It's starting to get better now. Um, but yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. It smells ever so faintly of roses. It's not like a really strong fragrance. It's very, very... And I didn't notice it when it was on my face. I literally had to go to actually smell it. So it's pretty mild. Um, but yeah, if you don't like rose fragrance, you wouldn't like this one, I don't think. The only reason I happen to know it's supposed to be roses is because it's got roses on it. Um, but it was okay. Those come in like a three pack or something from Dezo for $2.80, which makes them very, very good value. Uh, the next one is another cotton thing. These are cotton squares. These were ones that I got as part of a multi-buy. I think I got like six packets of them or something, and I'm pretty sure this is the last packet of them. I'm pretty sure I've used them all up now. That took me six, eight months, something like that. Um, these are the ones I den generally prefer to take off nail polish. I prefer round ones for my face and square ones for my nails. Even though they're not square, they're rectangle. Uh, yeah, but I don't actually have any square ones left anymore. So, um, yeah, I might have to go and look at buying some more. I have a another face mask. This is from Vita Masks. Uh, this is the Tea Tree Moisturising and Clarifying. Pretty certain this came out of a Bella box at some point. It was quite nice. I enjoyed it. It felt nice on the skin. Um, again, this is like the other mask and the serum. These aren't in my skin as in because I used them before I decided to do that one. I, I literally wasn't going to do that project. Uh, yeah, so this is fine. Um, I don't know if I'd buy it. I don't know where I would buy it. It's a Korean brand, I believe. Uh, inspired by Korean brands. Mm. I don't know. So, it was okay. I have a bath wash shower gel thing. Uh, this is from Grace Cole. I really like Grace Cole. I get them from Chemist Warehouse. Have really interesting fragrances which I really appreciate. Um, this one though, from what I remember, not my favourite. It's not terrible, it's just not my favourite. Uh, this is the Orchid Amber and Incense. It took me bloody ages to use this. This is like what, 500 mil and it just, yeah 500 mil and it just seemed to take ages to actually use it. Um, at one stage it was using it in conjunction with another one, like I was alternating between them, um, and then once I got down past halfway, it was like I was just focusing on this one, so uh, yeah, it was nice. Um, don't know that I'd buy this scent again, but I like the shower gel. And another one from Grace Cole, which you would recognize if you've been watching my channel, is the Pineapple and Passion Fruit Hand Lotion. This took like a year to use up, but I have now finished it. Um, I really enjoy the scent of this. I love pineapples, so this is like, the scent was like right up my alley. Um, I'm not sure I'd really go with buying a great big one again. I think I would, I prefer like the smaller ones that don't take so long to work through so you don't get so sick of the scent or, you know, bored with them and want to try something new. But all in all, it was a nice hand scent, uh, a nice hand cream. Um, and if they had smaller versions of this, I would probably buy that. Um, I have a nail polish. I have from Ulta 3 Lily White. It looks like this bottle is completely full because there is white nail polish all over the inside of it. But it has got to the point where it... It looks like whiteout. It looks like crusty whiteout now. Um, 
Yeah. And it's just impossible to put on the nails, it goes all patchy. Because my nails are quite long, once the formula starts to thicken up too much, even if you put thinner in it, it you'll paint like the back end of your nail, but you don't get the tips painted, and then it's just, it's just a pain. I have too much nail polish to be faffing about trying to use every last drop out of a bottle of nail polish, particularly one that is low cost, like this one. So, yeah, that is a nail polish done. And I have two makeup items. I have the CoverGirl True Blend, well, it was the CoverGirl True Blend. It's actually a bit of a Franken foundation in the end. It has a couple of different ones in it. Um, it just looked really terrible on the skin. I mean, the normal Cover Blend, uh, True Blend, doesn't look great on me anyway. I'm actually wearing it today, but I put it on with my hands, and I put on a really, really light layer, just to kind of even out the skin tone. Foundation doesn't look great on my skin for some reason. It just doesn't. Um, yeah, so this one is probably only about half, it's probably about half full, but um, it just looks so terrible, it makes me miserable to wear it, so I am getting rid of this one. And the last one is a makeup product I actually finished, rather than decluttered. It does happen. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair, which is actually the lightest colour. Don't get sucked in like the first time I did when I bought one of these, and bought 10 thinking it would be the lightest colour. It's actually darker. Don't ask me why. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, yeah, I have actually already repurchased this one, but this one I, I scraped it out. I took the stopper out of it. I started using my spatula to scrape down the bottom, and then I thought, why am I doing this again? I mean, I like it, but I don't like it that much. Um, virtually every concealer I've ever tried creases underneath my eyes. And part of the problem is, is that my eyes water quite a bit. So as soon as it gets damp, it just causes creasing. Like, I have creasing today because my eyes watered. <sighs> I didn't use this. I'd already finished this. Um, yeah, I just... I have quite a deep line that's just under here. Everything creases. So, yeah. But Maybelline Fit Me Concealer is used up. And I know it's like everybody's like favorite concealer, and although I have purchased it again, I'm not sure if it's my favorite concealer. I don't think I've actually found a concealer that I love. Um, then again, I haven't tried any high-end ones. I've only tried drugstore ones because I'm not prepared to spend the money in case I really don't like it. <laughs> yeah, so that is it for my January empties. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there, leave me a thumbs up if you like empty type videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!